Hi guys and uh, welcome to RG Handouts again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the uh, Game Boy ESP32, um, which is a basically a Game Boy powered by the um, ESP32 chip. Um, screens uh, 2.8 inch, uh, 240 by 320. That's an LCD. Um, it's got 16 megabyte of RAM. Uh, storage, it's powered by a external me memory SD card uh, and it takes two uh, 800 milliamp LiPo batteries which are rechargeable. So let's take a quick look inside and do a quick unboxing. Just got this this morning from my retro game case. Just want to say a big thanks to uh, um, Eddie for sending this out, a review sample. So as you can see from the case, the case is pretty cool. It's a hard case, very sturdy, very robust. And there's uh, my retro game cases, sticker on the case. The device itself, we'll come back to that in a minute. So what you get, you get your charging cable, which is uh, priority, I think. It's a little, little jack with a USB. Um, this I presume would be the cartridge that goes in the back, so we'll keep that out. So basically you're getting this cartridge in the box. There you go guys. Memory card slot in there. Uh, you can dismantle this, uh, but the whole device is basically in this uh, with along with the memory card so you can change it and put a bigger card in it's got a sticker on there as well that goes in there uh, the device itself let's take a quick look you can see if the sticker on the back there uh, your battery compartment you got two batteries here these I believe are rechargeable so you can just go ahead and plug the charger straight in as it is and it will charge you got your gen a normal 3.5 mil headphone jack um on the side here volume rocker it's the rocker type where you switch that way or that way and you can actually press the button in uh, i believe pressing the button in when you're in game will give you a menu which you can exit out um, this is a for external cable for linking two devices together. I'm not sure if that is compatible with these devices, but and that looks like an infrared sensor to me, but I'm not sure if that's actually active either. Uh, it's just the case that was used. Uh, so let's go ahead and power this up. It will switch on the side there, guys. So you're presented with, oh, that's quite nice, uh, RG Handhelds logo in the background. Um, you're presented with this menu um, with the uh, emulators on. So let's start here. We have the Nintendo, NES, I presume. Uh, you have Game Boy. You have uh, Game Boy Color. You have a Sega Master System and Sega Game Gear, uh, Coleco Vision. Uh, you have a book reader here and an MP3 player, I believe. If you want to put some music on there, tells you the tunes, how to control everything. Doesn't sound too bad. I mean, let's try and put that back to volume there. Put the volume down, or it tells you how to change the volume. So select BR, start play mode for the start button. You can go back there. Um, let's take a quick look at a game here. I don't know. Let's try some Master System. Aztec Adventure.
D-pad actually feels good on here. It's uh, not too bad at all, along with the buttons feel good as well. Diagonals seem fine. Not too bad. The screen looks pretty bright. Um, I presume the brightness is all controlled from the actual menu. Now let's try this out. So if we want to exit out, you see this volume button here. You just press that in, which brings you the menu. So as you can see, there's your volume on the top. I'm pressing it up or down. Uh, there's your brightness. It can go pretty bright, as you can see. Um, bring it back down. That's quite impressive, the, the actual brightness on it. Um, you can save your game, so you can always start where you left off, and then that's where you load it from. You can reset the game. You can save and exit the game, or just exit and resume. So in this case, let's just exit for now. And that's how you get out a game while you're in game. Um, quite a quite an impressive device, to be honest. Um, I think the actual casing is quite well made. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the actual quality overall. I've had a few Game Boy shells um, in the past. There's your speaker, it's quite nicely done there. I mean, you can have a look at the quality of the case and the buttons, they all feel pretty good. Uh, I can't see anything really that's got a gap in it or not properly put together. It's very well put together. There's your cartridge slot in there. Like I say, you can open this cartridge and change the SD card inside. But the actual uh, ESP32 chip is all incorporated into this chip here, which is pretty cool. Um, so there you have it, guys. Quick unboxing of the uh, ESP32 Game Boy. It's even got the Nintendo logo there, as you can see. Um, very nice, very nice. I'll be doing a... a a few more uh, game videos of this device um, so watch out for the channel guys for them videos um, I'll get it all set up and different games so you can see all the different emulators I'm sure it plays a few other different type of emulators but there you have it guys a very nice Game Boy ESP32 device uh, from my retro game case um, Thanks for watching guys, uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like the video and watch out for more soon. Thank you.